Then a senior prank turned to heartache for family, friends, and fellow students when police say four teens destroyed a memorial garden honoring a murdered teenager. But then kindness from a stranger helped ease the pain. Our Serena Fazan has this story, all new at 5.30. Serena? Well, Brendan, you know, we follow the story closely. The Ludemans lost their only child in 2009 when she was a senior at Tarpon Springs High School, a place she loved. A custodian helped build a garden that ended up destroyed. Todd Barnes had taken care of the grounds of Tarpon Springs High School for 18 years. He never knew Sarah Ludeman. She went there, but he heard her tragic story, murdered by a romantic rival. So when Sarah's parents donated this bench in their only child's memory, he wanted to do more. He built this garden. Wanted to do something special. Last week, school officials say 14 boys, three of whom were students, destroyed it, ripping virtually every plant and breaking not only Todd's heart, but students who wrote letters and the Ludemans. Didn't know if I could put it back together or not, but was able to. So. The teens who attended Tarpon turned themselves in to the principal. Police charged the students, one a juvenile, and the other these two 18-year-olds, Brandon Nash and Corey Jenkins. The principal tells me they showed great remorse, not realizing who the garden was for. From what they told us, it, you know, they, they got excited, it got out of hand, and uh, when they found out that what they um, had damaged with the memorial, uh, they were too, um, you know, they were not only embarrassed, but they were disappointed with themselves. Still, he says, there's no excuse. Pranks have gone too far. You're doing something that you think is going to be fun. You need to think about it, and you think um, how it's going to affect other people. And especially, you know, something like the memorial, when you see how deeply it has affected other people, like Mr. Barnes here on, on campus and other students, then, you know, you really do have to think, you know, maybe not just once or twice, but maybe three times before you, you do something that's going to be silly. But he says a greater lesson has been learned. Students came together, parents helped them donate more plants and flowers, and Todd, committed as ever, rebuilt this for Sarah. And Sarah's parents still talked to some of the teachers at the school. The principal said they were broken hearted when they heard what happened to the memorial, but then extremely touched by everyone who helped to restore it.